level up then alternative thermal energy thermal efficiency hydel power hydel power is a comp little complicated thing it is the most greenest power generation but it has got a negative effect behind the dam there is a huge area submerged normally wherever the dams are built the backwaters will be inside a forest so we lose forest so we need to think a little bit better so maximize solar come on all these things looks very green to achieve that there is a minimum amount of civil engineering that goes there is a minimum amount of civil engineering that goes that means we do have a very high opportunity here for our employment or skill segmentization and the very important thing for you to design a best house for your client don't talk to the man in the house go for a cup of coffee with your uh, client's place talk to the lady of the house mm -hmm. you come out with the result which 75% matches her result the house will be loved by everyone in the family because she loves the family she lives there she makes that home women empowering women equality in every walks of life will change life because they have a lateral thinking process they have a lateral thinking process far far superior to men i can tell this as a quiz master many times my googlies are answered like this by a girl student rather than a boy they think parallelly multiple directions at a simultaneous time they will give you six solutions otherwise she cannot control no where is her husband where is her first child where is her second child what is there what is her grandfather father in law doing everything she knows at the like this you tell me my wife uh, she should be in the kitchen or she should be watching tv serial my son uh, finished two parameters finished you ask the mother she will say my son is in the class so and so is in the thing my husband is watching tv or out with his friend my father in law is in the park my mother in law is doing puja this is the ability of a women's brain never leave them alone so simple natural endowment human resource capital investment technology political environment none of these things are in the hands of civil engineer but the end result i am involved probably the most challenging job that we have well don't worry it's not you it's not me the whole world is facing this problem including america how many of you heard or read about baden statement 3 days ago india ordering 100 boeings has created 10 lakh jobs or saved 10 lakh jobs in america what we think we go to america for job the president of america thanks india for an order so the problem is everywhere well with this condition you have negotiated this deal because you have had to chip in because these were the conditions that were levied by you and for an equality in the world human race so there were 12 they made it 16 afterwards very recently they agreed upon the 17th one as called what is called as partnership goals the developed countries will help the developing and the underdeveloped countries to do things in a better sustainable way both in terms of technology as well as in terms of funding because of this the entire thing came under one thing called sustainable development goals under united nations and almost every country in this world except for iran and afghanistan have signed this document allowing their own targets 
to reach these points by this year and there is a course of action. Every second year, this is the achievement I have to make. Internally and externally, this will be audited. Well, those are the pictures of various meetings. Yes, we started about seven years late for this kind of an action. These are the meetings. But war has got its own problems. So I will have to look at this. Can a common man stop this war? Most of us say no. But this war has to be won right from me, you and all of us individually and collectively. What do we do? The term that we all agreed in this summit was net zero. So the developed countries agreed to come down. They said, okay, we will also start reducing the carbon levels because carbon was agreed as the index for looking at sustainability. We will reduce, we will help you reduce. But we will stop talking about only A countries making it zero. We will all work together. At country level, let us make it zero. That is, total amount of energy or carbon I consume total amount of reduction plus whatever I contribute in terms of negativity of this should be equal to zero. I don't know how many engineers were there in this, in this discussion. It looks like an engineering equation for me. The algebraic sum of CO2 generated, CO2 lowered and CO2 removed should be equal to zero. Looks like engineering equation, no? The first thing in my class I asked my German coach was this. How many engineers were there? <coughs> well, this is more manageable. The developing countries, the underdeveloped countries agreed to this because it was like low hanging fruits. I can pluck the fruit by a little bit of effort. So, net zero, 2070, Our Prime Minister, on behalf of Government of India, he has signed the document. But he signed the document with a clear message to the other parts of the country, other organizations in the country, to come out with a plan, with a proper guidelines, with a proper uh, benchmarks fixed. The first one to come out was the TERI. They drew out where they can do in the construction segment, energy segment. And then came the CREDI, the builders, the construction industry. They come out with, under the umbrella of the Green Council of India, they decided how they can handle carbon emission in this thing. What do we do? I will tell you, each one of you youngsters are now eligible to professionalize yourself, enable your skills in these specific areas and get an uh, employment there, become grow faster than I am. I cannot go and learn new materials. At 60, my absorption level is very, very low. But you, uh, you people are out there with a pre-qualification. Tip here, go to Green Council of India. There are some uh, internet-based courses. Take those courses, get your certification. Probably you will have two points up against your competitor in a campus uh, placement interview. Well, energy segment came in. Public sectors have already decided what they are going to do in 2027. Then, private companies started putting up their own targets. Efficient use of hydroelectric power. Each minister has got a one meeting, review meeting every month at central government today. What is the progress? So, because India has got a potential for this alternate power in a very large way and India has got the most conducive political stability, many companies from across the world have come in here to invest in alternate power system. In the next five years, you will have 
nearly uh, 10 to 15 lakh civil engineers being permanently employed by these people to construct and maintain these establishments. Well, but who is going to do it? Me, you, it's all about you. Now, I'll take you through this. What is happening? What is the point? Why did I call it a bubble? Look at this cluster of things that happen around us. This is required for a very good, comfortable living for anybody. Establishment where you have consumption of power, like commercial complexes, office buildings, where there is now what we propose in this area is can you use alternate power? Can you generate some new power in a new methodology? One of the best known things that come back was the human waste, animal waste based, methane based fuel gases. We did it in a big way in India 10 years ago. After that it died down. There, can we eliminate electricity? No. But if I get electricity from a renewable source and reduce the burden on the grid, I can reduce. So, there can be a partly red, partly green. And then, when I go to infrastructure and agriculture, in combination, they make a deadly combination. The agriculture can push in a lot of uh, positive points for you, even though industry is taking off. Along with agriculture, you encourage them to have peripheral windmills, peripheral solar panels, so you will be getting into greener development there. Of course, depending upon thermal energy, which is an essential part of industrialization, becomes a very bad example for us. Similarly, electronic electricity business, they are coming out with a lot of changes, even in uh, thermal power points, they are trying to reduce uh, emission. And now, the new policy of net zero is helping me something for the power plant. They generate fly ash. If they generate fly ash in the right quality, they process it within their system and give it out. That is a carbon negative material in construction. So the power plant is losing its carbon footprint. The minus done here is being given there. So the overall credit is coming. This is how the management is of, of the carbon uh, footprint. So similarly, there are some areas where you cannot do much, but there are some areas where you can cut up to 40% of your natural power to greener energy. Well, even in gas, there is a huge thought process. The LPG emits more carbon dioxide, whereas CNG emits less. No doubt, there is a calorific difference. CNG gives less calories of energy, LPG gives more calories of energy. Why are the engineers made for? We are made to solve problems. You use CNG where CNG can be substituted, use LPG where it cannot be substituted. Why not? Then, there is a two pipelines that comes in your structure. Additional pipeline coming into your structure. Who goes and builds it? Who goes and builds it? Civil engineers. Equip yourself with the technology of laying pipes and assembling pipes in the building. You are a good consultant, you are a good contractor or you are a good worker there. That's... And very important, India is amongst the top three hydrogen as a power. Whenever uh, Nitin Gadkari drives around in Delhi, I am very proud to see. In fact, I went near his car after my meeting with him to see the hydrogen car. He drives around. He said, I mean, these are people who set examples. When the union minister drives a hydrogen car, which has got a certain limitations, no doubt, but I will not hesitate to drive it, right? In the domestic segment, a lot of things can be made, but I will tell you, as far as electricity is concerned, which is the major contributor of CO2 from the domestic segment, can almost be replaced with green energy. Almost be replaced. 
every one of your house can generate about 30% of your total requirement of electricity per month. A cluster of apartments can neutralize the electricity consumed by common areas and the lift. But we have to think, plan and lay the system in the right manner. Well, how did India take it when our Prime Minister signed this document three years or about two and a half years ago? Typical of Indian behavior, transportation said, no, without diesel I cannot run. After all what I can do, I can change my carburetor, I can dump my old vehicle, so that is the reduction I can give you. Construction industry said, cement, steel, everybody may, needs heat. Vehicles coming to my site needs diesel. So I can only contribute so much. Manufacturing segment said, yes, there are some areas where I can change my power sources. So I will switch to alternate sources for my wherever possible. So, that is what I can reduce. Electricity said, in India, solar panels, very expensive, windmills, difficult to erect. So, we are doing our best, but we will not commit. Whatever is there, another 15-20% I will stretch. Uh, building put into use, whether it is domestic or com commercial or office spaces, which is normally handled and dwelled by individuals, common citizens like you and me, we said we are capable of reducing it to almost 50 percent. We will do that. But no holding hands for this. Nobody is holding the hand. In earlier days, if I put a solar panel, I used to get 20% subsidy. Today, we are not asking for subsidy. In fact, uh, we are advocating a loan which is lesser than your housing loan. Because after I quit of house for going to my work, my wife quits for her work, children go to school, my power consumption in the house is almost zero except for my refrigerator. Am I right? So, whatever my solar panel is continuously collecting goes to the grid. You need not put batteries these days. No batteries. That was the most expensive thing in a solar uh, power. Today you need not. You just, you have a reverse meter. You put. And unfortunately, when I invest money and give solar power, most of the electricity boards of the state are reducing the cost at which they buy rate, uh, electricity from me instead of encouraging me for helping me, helping them. So, but yes, individuals are contributing. Now, my logic during the discussion was, why not treat this as a bubble? You are no longer zero individually, demand is zero, you, you are net zero now. So, what is that? It's a huge bubble. There is some areas where forests give you more oxygen, consume carbon dioxide though they are highly pos uh, uh, positive. There are clusters of negatives of different sizes. As far as carbon consumption is concerned, but people who have to connect all these things are not coming out of their well and changing, trying to change. Electrical engineers conduct a seminar on renewable energy. No civil engineer dare to go and present a paper there, how much of surface area he can give for the electrical generation to be done on a solar panel or they will not invite us. When we do it in our buildings, we never call them to make a presentation on how to optimize electrical consumption in your building. Ten of you here, if I explain how electrical consumption increase with the way of construction being done these days, will you not think, at least 10% of you, will you not think 
is there any alternate way i can construct the same building so that the heat that is coming from inside or heat coming from inside going out can be optimized we did this exercise in late 1980s and uh, early 1990s a very peculiar brick masonry called rat drop band was developed it was getting very popular but unfortunately people who adopted it did not go to an engineer they copied it now, I, i don't say copy copy is at least there will be some they aped the work being done in some site they did not know how to detail their structures so they said no all my mortar goes down i cannot put my plumbing line my window is shaking there are some detailing process that has to be done i'll come back some day there are a lot of things that i can discuss with you people uh, kumuda will never leave me i know she will ask me to come back but now from past two years there is an honest effort by everybody to do their bit across the world across the world i do what i do get calls from kenya and places like this to optimize and use of fly ash slag in their concrete quite often i get so that means everybody is now committed to do it contribution is there developed countries are contributing both in technology as well as financial funding uh, or a long term investment yes there is a business opportunity there for them instead of giving you the technology and make you work they are sending their company to set up here at least as a first step it is an employment for you then comes total environment at least in india i have not seen each one are trying to run and impress that excel sheet that goes to government of india as an achievement where columns and rows even though they intersect with each other i do not know which row is intersecting me at at what time i am in my own column then comes can the technology i am using to reduce carbon in my segment and my educating the other segment so that we both put together increase total green by something no can i help others or can i take help from others the first one i might like because somewhere i would like to do this now but take help no people will think that i do i am a dumb fellow like many of us many of you once the coffee break is there you have got wonderful questions to the speaker when you are asked to ask a question inside the seminar hall no if some of my friends think that i am a dumb fellow is that so we don't do that now how do i take this let us say come back we all have reset our system 2 years back this damn thing has taught human life human being the entire world a new way of life and to reinvent yourself sitting inside the house making pani puris making experiments with your kitchen uh, telling stories bringing out the age old traditional games into your living room and finally the entire family eating together isn't it this has taught us a lesson what is that we have heard this term especially the 